Hello everyone, welcome to my first video on YouTube. This is nearly a seven minute hyperlapse video of what was a 12 to probably 13 hour colour pencil exercise. I searched several places for a suitable photo and settled on the one I'm using. I particularly like the detail in the three quarter profile, sharp focus, contours, the values and the shading. There's also a highlight in the right eye of the dog which gives the subject a life of its own. I have transferred the photo outline onto an Archer's watercolour paper and then started to block in the orangey brown patches with firstly a watercolour pencil and then a semi-wet artist brush. This makes a good base for subsequent layers of colour pencil without degrading the paper. Given this is a watercolour paper, it can handle it pretty well. I tend to start with the eyes. In my view, this is a critical element to the lightness of any portrait. The eyes give the portrait a life of its own. If you don't get the eyes right, it really doesn't matter how well it's structured and shaded, it will not reflect the subject to the viewer. The other relatively challenging area of any pet portrait is the nose, and it's important that you build up colour. I find the easiest approach is to do the outline first, and that would include some of the creases around the nostrils, and then add a layer of indigo blue before you end up adding any black. I've also added some purple, which has given it a bit more depth and I've also left some of the lighter areas out as they were. you also note that I use a sheet of film or paper between my hand and the drawing. I can't count the number of times I've smudged a drawing inadvertently. The other risk with putting your hand directly on the drawing is while you may have clean hands, there are always some oils in there. And if you get these onto your drawing, it's going to be very difficult to get a colour pencil layer to take smoothly and evenly. Just going back to the eyes, it's important that you have the highlight in those eyes, what you find with photos of people and pets when they're outside, uh, like this particular photo, there is always a little bit of blue in the top of the iris which reflects the sky. That's why I've added a little blue to the eyes. With colour pencil it's also important that you layer lightly so you do not degrade the paper any more than necessary and secondly you must have a sharp pencil. The texture of most papers and even smooth papers all have highs and lows in the surface structure. It's important that you get the colour into those little trenches within the paper. If you don't do that, what you'll end up with is a fairly grainy look to your colouring and subsequent layers. I have on occasions done 20 to 25 layers in a particular area, so it's important that you layer lightly. You'll also notice I'm using a strange little marker with a colourless tip. This is a colourless blender and this one's from Derwent. I find these pretty good to use on occasions for blending. I also blend with a, a cotton tip and you'll see this throughout my drawing as well.
Right, we're nearly there. I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's a fair representation of the Jack Russell photo. If you'd like to have a look at some of my other drawings and paintings, they're available on my website, which is johndawsonartist.com.au. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.